Okay, YouTubers, this is a video on how I found out that my glow plug control module was bad. And I checked my engine and it came up as the number four glow plug was bad. But I changed it and I ended up having to order this part right here. And the part number on that was nine zero four three one zero and it's even on the part there there's a glow plug control module by Dorman it has the 12 prongs in it and the one prone by itself in a round port and uh and I found this um for a hundred and sixteen dollars and so it's something you could change yourself. And here I am, here I am unplugging the um, the battery terminal. Upon it, just put, uh, push down on it and just pull it straight out. And uh, open the hood. Now I got to get the breather box off. So I need a screwdriver for this, this screw. And just pull the electrical connect out. Just squeeze on both sides. Pull out. And squeeze on that one side. See, there's two on that one. There's one on that one. Just pull it straight out. Lay it down. Then the other, then the other side, you just push in on the tab and pull up. You can pull that uh, battery connector uh, slay cable where you can uh, boost your battery off at right there. And it's the only tool you need right here. And here's the tools to change that just, uh, uh, module. Uh, you got to have little, a, uh, some kind of a socket, T socket, uh, what whatever a socket. It looked like, like, like a star in the inside. It made like a star. It looked like a star in the inside. But it fits on that um, boat. It fits on top of this special socket. I think it's a uh, 12 or 13 millimeter. And here I am. Um, Loosening the clamp. You don't have to take it all the way off. Just loosen just it. Pull it in the back a little bit out the way, and now just, just pull up on the side. Up. And that little tube, rubber tube pick on the right on. side, it won't pop out. But don't worry this about it. Just pull it, straight out. it just come out of there. It It'll hang in there sometimes. Right Sometimes you could just, if it come it fits up. It's on these little wheels. And it, this is where you it hangs. It in, you set it back and down. You push it back on there. The tab on the top. It hangs on that. So here is the old. I'm pulling the uh, terminal off. There's a, you got to squeeze on the bottom, top, and the bottom to this pull it right out here, there. You have one. And the other one, just, just a squeeze on the one side and pull it straight out. And Module. what you want to do is uh, off, you want to connect it first sure it first to the new one and like make sure it fits before you go through taking the other one up. I'm going to do is slide it in there. Just slide it right into the connector and it slides in there and locks snap in place. right in. And locked in place. That's good. And then here's so the other one connector right here. Around one, just snap it right in. Yeah, make sure to snap tab that it down, is, catching on the that side. That one is good. Yep. And now what so we do now? Just work. go ahead and Line pull the old one up out the way. Good with that. Now I got to pull the old one up. Cause I think that old one had some issues, and it'll give a false reading like the glow plugs are bad, and people have been changing the whole all the glow plug, plugs, and it's still check in the light come on <clears throat> so change that module you're going to have to change it anyway just upgrade it change that module take it out just two screws and try not to drop the screws down in the engine Both are gonna be running around getting in this truck. so i just left them no, in the in there and made sure i just picked up on it <laughs> and left the screws in there so i wouldn't drop it okay, leave it right there. And loosen the other one up just enough and just kind of pick straight up you don't want those bolts to uh, fall down in that engine this is an easy fix for that problem I had and checking your light coming on talking about the glow plug because like I said I changed the number four glow plug and it still came back on saying it was number five 
and my mechanic said change the glow plug com controller I ran into that problem before so that's what I did Let me go straight up out of there but you look at the old one it's made totally different from the the new one it's real boxy it's a prones one, two, three, four, five. Got the same prones and everything prongs. in there. Twelve prongs. Okay, now we connect the old one, the new one. This one more sleeker. Got a, got a slant in the front. Careful not to drop the screws. And when I bought this uh, controller here, it said it only fits on a, on a Dodge Sprinter. Uh, what year was that? 07 to 09. But I cross-referenced it from the... Uh, the part number and it came up with the same part number so I just took a chance and ordered it because like why I have the same part number but it's saying it don't fit the Sprinter uh, Mercedes Sprinter it does fit it Tighten down but maybe they just can't mention it because you look for a Mercedes ones online you're gonna end up paying about 200 300 dollars for that thing and only paid 116 for it and I had to wait on it, but you know, it was worth the wait. Okay, make sure my connection. That's it. Easy fix. Good. Thanks for watching.